Hey guys, thank you for joining Captain Goggles again. I'm so excited. We got a brand new hot fire video for you today. A beautiful public lake, believe it or not, found it on Google Maps here with Alex. And uh, it, just trying to show you guys more of these videos about how you don't have to have a thousand, you know, hundred thousand dollar boat. You don't have to have a boat ramp. You can literally find a small dirt path into a privately public lake. You know, you just gotta do some research and you will be rewarded. So we've only been here once by the bank and uh, we did pretty good bank fishing. We caught about three in about an hour. So I really think this lake could be unbelievable. If we take the kayaks out, you can kind of see we got a lot of uh, shrubbery, some grass, there's an aerator there. Really cool guys. So don't be afraid to do your homework and get your hands dirty. Let's go get them. All right guys, here we go. Alex is putting his in first. He's probably got the right idea with the no shoes. Me on the other hand, I'm very, I try to be, you know, I got my shoes on, I got my long pants. That is the one thing I like about my 12 footer though, is I can just walk on it. We are in. Why does my kayak feel so unstable? No, uh, probably just because I haven't been in it in a while, but last time... Schoolers. Did y'all just see that? There's one. There we go. That's a nice fish. Trying to show Alex. That's a good three pounder right there. <laughs> They're like schooling in that cove right over there. Wild. Nice one. Nice one. Let's go, baby. Fish number one. Solid one. That is a good fish. Golly, please eat this. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. It. He's on. He's on. That's another one. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that he literally blew up right in front of the kayak and I hooked him. Ow, oh, golly, dude. He's got sharp teeth. Wow, that's sharp. So the first one I caught on the chatterbait, second one I caught on the Sanko. All right, little buddy, time to let you go. Ask me, but um, I don't know why. But around this one dock, there's literally thousands of small little glass minnows that are just swimming around, and the fish are schooling around it. It's crazy. Yeah, we got one, guys. Good one. Good one. Good one. Ooh. Oh, no, I'm going to blow into the spot. That's a nice one. Come here. He fell underneath the seat. Come here, buddy. There you 
There we go. It's a nice fish. Not bad, smallest one so far on the Senko. Just, uh, oh, goodbye. Right underneath that tree right there. That's the only problem I don't like about the kayak fishing is, you know, you hook one and you go right where the fish is. It's like, what if there's three or four more in there, you know? I'm using the big Senko. I like the big Senko because as you use it, you just cut it down, keep fishing with it. That's right where I had them. Well guys, so far in fishing this lake, I really like it. I've only gone a probably about 25 yards from the ramp and it's pretty solid. Haven't noticed a lot of open water grass. It's mainly um, shoreline cover, lily pads, docks, trees, um, submerged like uh, emergent grasses, you know, Kissimmee grass, torpedo grass, things like that. So I'm trying to find some stuff out here in the middle. Haven't really found anything too crazy, just kind of beating the bank and I've caught in three fish so far, a three pounder, a two pounder, and a one pounder. So it's pretty sick, man. I'm gonna keep going around though. Dude. Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah. You saw it, man. You saw it. He's he's watching me over there. <laughs> Guys, look look at all those shiners. Can you see that? That's crazy. <sighs> man, that was a good strike on the chatterbait, man. Guys, I cannot believe I lost that fish. And I'm standing up too. So you know I got a good, I got a really good hook set percentage standing up, but I don't know what happened. I guess the fluke kind of got in the way. Oh, that was a nice one, man. That was a nice one. Hey guys, Alex caught one. Look at that. That's a nice one here while they're schooling. So another good one here. He was using the speed worm. Good job, bro. Yo, hold it up real quick with a crankbait in its mouth. There you go. Alex got another one. It's the Alex show this afternoon. He just threw a little square bell in the culvert there. Good job, man. Surprise, you know, I thought I was going to win this competition. I think I got three, but now Alex came back with two there real quick at the end. Well, here we are. We are back. <sighs> well, guys, into an awesome time here. We were only out here for about two and a half hours. Not a lot of time late. We started around two. What do you think of the new... Google Maps Lake, Alex. Dude, I love it. Super small, full of fish. Easy to get around. Only took us, I don't know, maybe an hour to get around it, and you fished it for a little bit longer. Alex caught uh, caught the winning, well, the tying fish, I guess, on uh, his little square bill, and then I caught two nice fish on the chatterbait, and then of course the Senko is a main staple, but. Uh, Guys, really encourage you, go check out Google Maps, look for a local lake in the area, see if there's a public entrance, and uh, grab you a kayak and go whack them. My next video, guys, I'm going to be doing is on uh, kayak reviews, so you guys can figure out the right kayak for you and what you want to do um, to get out there on the water. But guys, please like, please subscribe, and thank you for joining Captain Goggles.